When you put yourself in the place of God, when you exhibit pride in your life, you are possibly committing the very first sin that was ever committed. I want to read a couple of passages to you from the Old Testament. They are parallel passages, and some people think that they are cryptic passages about the fall of Satan. Most theologians will tell you that Satan used to be an angel. That he was created by God to be one of the greatest of angels, one of the archangels. And then a very intriguing passage by Isaiah. And then later in Ezekiel, they talk about what appears to be the fall of Satan. Now here's what I want you to listen to. If Satan was an archangel in the presence of God, what could have caused him to fall away from God? Listen, if you will, the reading of Scripture. Isaiah speaks in a mystical, cryptic language. Have you fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, the son of the morning? The word Lucifer is a name used for Satan. It literally means the day star. You were the day star, the son of the morning, and now you have been cut down to the ground. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mountain of the congregation and I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like God. Now look at parallel passage in Ezekiel. You were the seal of perfection, talking about Lucifer. You were full of wisdom and perfect in your beauty. You were in the garden of of Eden, which was the garden of God. And it talks about how beautiful he was. You were the anointed cherub. A cherub is one of the high angels. I established you. And you were on the holy mountain of God. In other words, you were in the very presence of God. You were perfect in your ways. From the day that you were created until iniquity was found in you. By the abundance of your trading you became filled with violence and you sinned. Therefore I cast you out as a profane thing out of the mountain of God. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. All who knew you among the people were astonished at you. And you have become a horror and shall be no more forever. If this is really talking about Satan, if you listen to the words, you understand that the very first sin, the greatest sin of all, was the sin of pride. When Satan said, I will sit on the throne of God. Do you remember what Satan said to Eve? When he said, eat of this fruit and you shall be as God. Maybe the most seductive phrase in the Bible. You shall be as God. People, that's what he's talking about. The sin of pride. The sin of pride, of putting ourself in the place of God.